Want to take a closer look at the equity market. We have some stock picks for you as well. Hillary Kramer is with us, founder, CIO, Kramer Capital Research. Thank you so much for being with us. So we got our jobs report in. We heard uh, from our Fed chair, Jay Powell, today and hitting some records, too. Um, your thoughts on the market 2024? There will be some real losers, and everyone should expect that uh, keep some of your powder dry because we can't keep going up every day. But uh, the winners could really outpace anything anyone is even thinking about. Just think NVIDIA. So many people yeah. didn't get on the bandwagon because they didn't realize that it was going to have the largest market cap in the world. Yeah, understood. Um, when we think about how these have been growing and you're playing this, I mean, you, you, th you have picks for us. Is it more of a stock picker's market? I mean, do you think that the S&P, for example, will be higher by the end of the year, but it's more of a stock picker's market? The S&P 500 could be exactly where we are end of year, but stock picker's market to an extreme, which yeah. is why it's really about picking stocks and not just having an ETF that you can ride on in this coming year. All right. So Palantir is the first name on your radar. Um, obviously a huge move, one year up to 20 percent, year to date up 50 percent and hitting new highs. Today it's at $26. Um, your thoughts on Palantir? Palantir has the potential to be a $100 stock. It has been public for many years, over 18 years. The problem with Palantir originally was that so many of the contracts were with governments, kind of the equivalent of CIAs all over the world. Palantir couldn't be transparent. And now that Palantir has so much artificial intelligence business in industry and in areas of government that can be disclosed, people are realizing that this is a stock that is so undervalued in comparison to yeah. its stock price and the, the growth potential here. All right, you heard it here. $100 <laughs> maybe for Palantir. That's a lot of fun. Um, another one, um, Mind. Uh, medicals on or mind medicine M N M D. So this is one that you think could be a winner. Why is that? Oh, massive, massive winner. So this is an anti-anxiety drug maker. Although a small, a small cap for sure will either be taken over or the sky is the limit because it is a replacement really for the anxiety drugs that can be given or are dangerous and a replacement for ketamine. I know that sounds ridiculous, Nicole, but it's the mushrooms. And yeah. now that they've passed phase two, uh, phase three begins the second half of this year. So you can buy this stock, you know, under ten dollars mind yeah. medicine hold it don't think about it for about 18 months and you could turn around and it could be fifty dollars again like it was right. in 2021 or right. even higher than that yeah i mean it's amazing because it already has soared i mean just month to date it's up where, where what is it march 8th <laughs> month to date it's up 73 percent so it did have this big 50 percent and it's because move. of the phase two the, yeah it's, it's really that it's that. always binary in biotechnology but, that's why yeah. you have to be careful but this is one that i have done research on and right. the big pharma guys who are in neuroscience swear by it they'll be interested in this one and look at the price is under 10 bucks it's at 986 today you have a few others carvana for example oddity Yes. So Oddity is an Israeli company. So obviously the overhang has been Israel there, has only been public since the summer. Direct to consumer, artificial intelligence, a competitor of Sephora. It's about cosmetics and it's about customizing the cosmetics for particular yeah. groups and being able to understand the consumer ahead of traditional um, cosmetics and hair care. So I love, I think Oddity, uh, I mean, just has been ignored. Plus, yeah. the funds will start buying it, you know, come another quarter of earnings when it comes out. Um, right. Another one I really love that rang the bell at NASDAQ last night, uh, Prairie Operating. Oh, okay. um, Prairie is P a prop, P-R-O-P. Now, oil and gas energy is a tough one, but a company like this with a $400 million market cap and with so many reserves, it's unbelievable. They could pump 3,000 barrels per day um, and is in the Colorado, a Colorado basin and will either be acquired or will roll up so many of the smaller players, depending which right. way oil and get, oh, the price of oil goes, that PROP is another one. 
buy it, hold it, sit there at 10, and wait for this one to take off. Now, now, when I say take off, it's not the same as a mind medicine, but that's binary. PROP is a lot less risky, and you could double your money here. Yeah, I mean, when you think about sectors, um, you're mentioning different sectors here, too. So, I mean, do you feel like certain sectors may do better than others this Artificial year? Artificial intelligence, which is so like fascinating. That? So. So when we think about there's the NVIDIAs of the world, okay, we think about Palantir, which is undervalued and has gone you know, below the radar. And then there's a lot of startups out there. You have to be very careful. They yeah. are risky, but um, you know, some of these companies you can pick up at a dollar and Vocodia, that, that's one for example. But again, it's risky, but you can pick up artificial intelligence companies that have the right IP and they're in the right areas. Like for example, that one has customer service in the auto industry and right. is growing fast and also in travel and leisure. But you can also go for an NVIDIA and go for the biggest company in the world. Yeah. So artificial intelligence, every company has a mandate and the CEO and the boards of directors are saying be in artificial intelligence and the hedge funds and the money yeah. managers Managers are expected by the investors to have AI plays all the way from a dollar to three trillion dollars. Let's get back to some of your picks. Okay. Now, when I look at Starbucks, for example, and people love Starbucks, and there's a Starbucks in every corner, but the chart has not been a particularly good one. In fact, over one year, it's down almost 12%. Um, you like Starbucks and ARM. Right. right. Tell me a little bit about Starbucks and then ARM. Okay. So Starbucks has had every problem under the sun from unionization to difficulty bringing labor in to the competitors to local over na over over global. Um, Howard Schultz kind of being out in, out. Now there's a new CEO and he's very into kind of health and lifestyle. And we may see Starbucks also improve that quality control, what McDonald's has. You always yeah. know what you get at every yeah. single Starbucks. That's what we're aiming for. But the company is so, we think it's incredibly um, undervalued. And, right. and 90, 86. Yeah. And, and, but you know, you also have a two and a half percent dividend yield right. that's still being paid. Okay. So you can wait for Starbucks to come back, and it's a great one to put in your portfolio because so few growth stocks right. are as undervalued as right. SBUX. And ARM is at 134 today. Right. So uh, I love ARM. We have ARM's, to wrap it up, okay. but let me give, give me one last thought. Yeah. It, it's graphics, it's graphics cards, CPUs in every iPhone eventually. So we think that ARM, ARM, could certainly start to go on the same track that we saw NVIDIA over the past yeah. two years. Yeah. It's great to see you, Hillary Kramer. Thank you so much. We always love having you on the show. <laughs> Hillary Kramer of Kramer Capital Research.